Hello and welcome to my new guide to installing Civ 2 on new computers. So the first thing that you're going to want to ask yourself is what version of Civilization 2 do you have? If you have Multiplayer Gold Edition, uh, this will mean that you should be able to install it directly onto a 64-bit Windows computer, but you will have a problem when you try to enter text box, enter information into text boxes. So you should uh, follow the link and the first link in the description to see about uh, getting a pat, getting it patched. On the other hand, you might have a the classic version of uh, Civilization 2. It's also often called version 2.42 or older. This is a 16-bit program, and it will not uh, run on a 64-bit computer, as you can see with this pop-up here. Uh, the advantage of Classic is that the AI is much less hostile than that of the Multiplayer Gold Edition. So. Uh, you have several options here. You can upgrade to Multiplayer Gold Edition, and you can follow the link in the, the description for information. You can virtualize a 32-bit uh, Windows environment. That is what I do, but you're going to need a spare Windows license key or uh, some professional version that uh, of Windows that offers virtualization directly. Or you can do you can uh, watch this video and we can virtualize a uh, Linux environment. Uh, this is going to be free but we won't get sound or Civilpedia in the game. So what you're going to need is about 10 gigabytes of hard drive space. Uh, the I set up the virtual drive to be about 8 gigabytes large so you know if you if you don't have that much extra room uh, you might run into problems uh, you're gonna want to have four gigabytes of RAM you can probably get away with less but you know if you have less why on earth do you have a 64-bit computer anyway and you're also going to need the ability to download roughly 700 megabytes worth of data it might actually be less if you want to use the zipped version of the file I'm gonna give you but whatever. So you know if you're really close to your uh, quota for the month, depend if you have internet uh, uses quotas, you may not want to do it. And you're also going to need your Civ 2 CD. And the procedure is that you're going to download and install VirtualBox, and you're going to want to download your virtu the virtual hard disk image. I'm going to provi provide a link for that. Then we're going to set up the virtual machine, and we're going to install Civilization 2. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is download and install the VirtualBox program. So I'll search for VirtualBox. I'll also put a link in the description. So this is the website, Oracle's VirtualBox and you want to go to downloads and if you have windows you're going to want to down download this and then you know, if, you're, if you're using some other uh, operating system I guess you'll just download the appropriate uh, section so I'm not going to download because I've already got the program on my computer and once you've downloaded this program you will want to install it. I have also already installed uh, the program, so I'm not going to do it again. The uh, and if you're if you have trouble installing it, this uh, tutorial may be a little above you. So anyway, the next thing that you're going to want to do is. Uh, get the uh, file and download it. 
So there, I'll put these links in the description. One of them is going to just be the uh, virtual hard disk file without any uh, uh, compression, and then I've also uploaded it as a zip file, which will have, uh, which will take less data. So uh, I'll copy this. Oh. That didn't work out quite right. There we go. Copy. Paste and go. And this should bring you up to uh, a site that looks like this. And so it has the 500 megabytes. And you download it. Okay, it can't be scanned for viruses. I guess you'll have to trust me that uh, it's not a virus. So the download is now completed. And so the next thing you're going to want to do is it's probably a good idea to move it out of downloads. So cut. You can move it into documents or wherever. New folder. Uh, we'll call this Civ 2 HD. Or H drive because HD has a slightly different connotation. So, paste it. And I believe that finishes off uh, us off with the internet. So, the next thing you want to do is launch uh, VirtualBox. And so, we have to create a new hard drive. So, you can call this whatever you like. Uh, Save to Puppy, because we're using Puppy Linux. And so we choose Linux and uh, other Linux. Go to Next. Now I'm going to uh, set it up with uh, 1024. You can probably get away with less uh, RAM, but you probably don't want to go below 256. So now here we're going to use a, an existing virtual hard drive file. And we're going to search for it in documents right there. So we create. And now we use settings. So storage. So we have our uh, hard drive there. And then we want to choose our CD drive. And we're going to choose uh, host drive D or whatever it is that is your actual the actual hard drive for your computer. So it may be different on your computer than mine. So just do whatever it is to get to the uh, hard drive. So network it should be attached to NAT. I don't think we actually have to use the internet now. Although if you want to download uh, files to use such as like oh, saved games from someone else uh, might be useful but that should work so I believe that's all for this and so then we uh, launch okay so we'll go to view and switch to full screen So we want to capture. So it'll look something like this. I had made a slight adjustment by accident trying to figure this out, so it's probably not going to have that stuff overlap. But anyway, what you're going to want to do is right click and go to setup and go down to Xorg Video Wizard. And click on this first one right here. So you're going to want to try to choose uh, whatever will work for you. I think that this one will work for me. This will be something that uh, we'll just have to try out. And so if it looks good, uh, there you are. So then you can right click and go to shutdown to uh, 
reboot the computer. And so while it's rebooting, you might as well put in your Civ2 CD. And so, yeah, oh yes, you have to capture. And so then you click on a disk just once to go in here, and then you want to go to uh, Civ2, just clicking once, and find Install E. So here we go. It may look a little different on yours, but in, so you have Install E. You click on that. You close the README. And you want to choose custom install because we only want to install the required game files. Well, we'd like to install everything, but if we do, it, the game will crash. So we continue and we install. and we'll skip creating this because it won't work anyway and so everything's been installed you can take the disk out if you like or you can just leave it in doesn't matter so the next thing we want to do is find it to play so you right click and you go down to file system and you go to wine file you click on C you go into MPS and here you double click so Civ2, and then you find Civ2 EXE, and you use that to play. So you'll have at least 16 megabytes of RAM. It won't change anything actually, just because of the way everything works here. And so when you play, so if you uh, okay, cancel. So if you try to load a game, oh, I can load the tutorial so here, now I haven't actually played a full game using this but I suspect that it shouldn't be any more of a problem than it was before, so if you come, if you come across any uh, problems please report them so there we go so writing yeah there we go and so that's what uh, it'll look like when you discover a technology so just save the game and then we can quit so then there's the map editor So you can load a map, and uh, it won't automatically uh, filter the files that you actually want. That's, uh, that's what the tutorial map looks like. So I'll save map as TUTB. Hope that doesn't mean something uh, stupid. So we can go into Civ2XE again, start on pre-made world, and so here it won't filter out uh, all the bad things. So you can get it to crash if you. Choose the wrong thing. No. There we go. Yeah. 
quit again. And if you are trying to start on a pre made world and you choose the wrong thing, like advice.fre, the program will crash. And it should close eventually. I haven't figured out how to force quit on this uh, version of Puppy, but oh well. Something for you to discover. And I also don't know how to uh, link the uh, executables right to the desktop. Oh yeah, and I am not uh, integrated again for some reason. So, if all else fails, you go to the second desktop and you power off. And there we are. So, thanks for watching. If you have any problems, you can post here and I'll try to help you eventually.